uh, traditional word is sati in Indian. Uh, and there's three main parts to it. The first one is awareness. So we have to be conscious of the experience. How often do we have an experience and we're not even there, we're somewhere else. You know, we have a shower, we have a shower in the morning. Uh, but there's 50 other people in the shower with us, you know? <laughs> or, or, or already at work. You know, we're not actually thinking about the shower. You know, before we know it, we're out of there, and you, you can't remember anything that happened because the mind is somewhere else, and actually in the shower. If we go in the shower and actually uh, feel that, and I've had so many cold showers in India, it's not funny. So when I come to Australia and have a nice warm shower, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, standing in that shower and just appreciating. Firstly, it's clean water. Then it's warm water. Uh, and uh, the ability to have all of those things. Um, now, unless we've lived in third world countries, sometimes it makes it a bit harder, but uh, it's just appreciating the moment, because that's really all we have. Because, when, because most of us are either regretting or, um, or lamenting something that happened in the past, or we're worrying about something in the future. Now, and as we've probably heard this before, neither of them exist. In fact, the past constantly changes, depending on where our mindset is at any point in time. The whole thing moves. In the future, who knows what's going to happen there. Now, yes, we have to plan for the future, but, um, and people say, well, hang on, how can you be, I'm talking a little bit about non-attachment here, how can you be non-attached to actually achieve something? Um, well, it's about, yes, having goals. Goals that will lead to our um, uh, um, less suffering and more happiness, but it's not being attached to the outcome. It's enjoying the process of getting there. And that's what mindfulness is all about.